Hey guys, today's video is going to be an awesome one because a lot of guys and girls ask me how to communicate with the opposite sex. So, here are 10 ways to psychologically communicate with a girl or a person you like. More info on how to communicate with a guy is coming soon. Helping others is the best thing you can do. And check it out. Ciao. Have you ever noticed that some people seem to have all the luck with women? It's more than just simple charisma. There are some scientific reasons why certain methods are effective during social interactions. We'll share some interesting psychological tips and tricks that work on women. Before we begin, make sure to click subscribe for more from Psych2Go, where you can find helpful tips on daily life for both men and women. This video was made in collaboration with our friends at The Taco. If you're interested in learning more about psychological tricks that work on men, be sure to check out their video. Mirroring they say opposites attract, but at the end of the day, we tend to like people who are similar to ourselves. You don't have to pretend to be a clone of the woman you're talking to, but by subtly mimicking her behavior, you can easily pique her interest. According to New York University researchers, this is known as the chameleon effect, and it happens when people unconsciously mimic one another. Try to consciously mirror someone's body language, gestures, and facial expressions and see what happens. Compliments Paying someone a sincere compliment does more than make them feel good. Studies find that if you offer someone a compliment, they actually tend to associate it with you other than themselves. It's a phenomenon called spontaneous trait transference, and it's something you can use to your advantage. If you tell a woman she is trustworthy or a good listener, there's a solid chance she will feel the same way about you. On the flip side, you want to avoid talking negatively about other people because your audience will then associate the unpleasantness with you as well. What's the best compliment you've ever received? Flaws when you are attracted to someone, naturally you want to put your best foot forward. But you should know that it's okay to demonstrate that you're not perfect. During an experiment at the University of Minnesota, participants listened to recordings of students taking quizzes. People who did well on the quiz but spilled a coffee at the end of the interview were rated the highest. It sounds strange, but your minor flaws can make you more relatable and likable. Has this ever happened to you? Eye contact this is a psychological trick which is pretty easy to pull off. Eye contact is a big deal, and it can convey a lot to the person you're talking to. According to social psychologist Zick Rubin, people generally make eye contact about 30 to 60% of the time. But couples who are in love with one another make eye contact about 75% of the time. Does this sound familiar to you? You don't have to stare her down, but try upping the amount of time you spend looking into her eyes. This shows you're focused on what she's saying, and you feel at ease around her. Touching Subtle body contact can be a great way to let someone know you're interested and enhance their attraction to you. Now obviously, you always want to make sure you're not making anyone uncomfortable, but try a brief touch on the arm when emphasizing a point the next time you're talking to a woman. One experiment conducted by the University of Mississippi and Rhodes College showed that waitstaff who briefly touched their customers on the hands or shoulders earned much larger tips than those who didn't. Availability when you're interested in someone, it can be tempting to drop everything in order to hang out with them. But being too available makes it seem as if you don't have much of a life, and that's the opposite of attractive. We aren't saying you should play hard to get, just that it's best not to let your life revolve around your romantic relationship. Making yourself scarce from time to time can make getting to spend time with you a much more appealing prospect. Benjamin Franklin Effect one of Benjamin Franklin's less well-known contributions to society is known as the Benjamin Franklin Effect. This psychological effect means that the more you ask someone to do things for you, the more they'll like you. It seems counterintuitive at first, but when we do something nice for someone, our brains tell us we must like them. If you can get a woman to do a favor every now and then, there's a good chance she'll like you more. Open up Obviously, you don't want to tell her too much too soon, but moving past small talk is a great way to get close to someone. People tend to like others when they know more about them, so sharing a couple of secrets is a good way to establish intimacy. Since this is presumably someone you aren't close with yet, don't share anything which would devastate you if it got out. Simple things like how your relationship with your parents is or something embarrassing that happened to you once can make someone feel closer to you. 
Keep in mind that getting people to like you is a skill like any other. It may take some practice, but these tips will make the process a lot easier. Share any tips you have in the comment section below. To learn more about psychological tricks that work on guys, make sure to visit the taco to watch their video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.